When Ken Graham was diagnosed with cancer in the early 1970s, it led to eight courageous and extraordinary women from South Shields to create the Variety Act, the Dolly Mixtures. This is their story. hospital's like a mausoleum. Thanks, Hilda. <laughs> it is dead, Ken. You're supposed to be taking me mind off being in hospital. Sorry. Look, we're family. We can say what we like. There has to be something for you to do. You can't be staying in bed all day and night. You must get bored. We'll sort something out. Why didn't you just put in a bar? Well, it's a good idea, brother. <laughs> With a dartboard in the corner. And a pool table. Oh, stop being daft. It'll cost a fortune. I'll say it's for my husband in hospital. They might knock something off the price. We'll raise the money. How? Well, I can move mountains. Oh, Christ, man. It's a big one even for you. He's not himself. They've given me six weeks. Some people live for years. Cancer's a killer. Well, we can do something, can't we? You know that it'll happen when I put my mind to it. Can you take the cancer away? Well, I would if I could. You're my best brother, my friend. And I couldn't wish for a better husband or a better dad for the bed. Right, a dartboard and a pool table are just for starters. We'll beat this cancer and raise this money. You mark my words, Ken Graham, mark my words. I'd walk on flaming coals for you and take 
That's easier said than done How can this fight ever be won? I'm nearer dead than I'm alive I see by that look in your eyes We have to be up for the fight Give life a left to do the right We have to be up for the fight It's time to look up to the light This love will never in Brussels to mark the occasion of the UK joining the economic European community. <laughs> <laughs> was that supposed to be Ted Heath? It was on the news last night. Ted Heath, you mean? <laughs> you give him a miss. Well, my George thought it was good. I know George thinks you're attractive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to do it in our act? Oh, it was nothing like him, Doris. Oh, I can't stand Ted. He'd sing Slade or Bowie. Oh, Ooh, I could do um, Ziggy Stardust, you know. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow up our mind. There's a star man waiting in the sky. No. <laughs> well, why not? What are you going to do, Bowie? Oh, thanks, Joan. Oh, I know, I know. I could do me sucking Finderella bit. Oh, yes. No, we can't do that. The clubs are rough. Mm. My man's always saying that. Not like the venues I played. When you sang professionally. Mm -hmm. Why, well, yeah, my George says we should wear gum shields. <sighs> We'd not be able to sing. Well, my man says give him a ring if there's any bother. He's used to doing call-outs for repairs. <laughs> <laughs> Mine says, do you know what you're letting yourselves in for? I said, I don't care, as long as we're having a laugh. <laughs> when I sang professionally... Yes, we know, Sylvia. 
as long as we pray. Please, Christ, don't let us be crucified. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I can't bloody wait. <laughs> well, it'll take me mind off things. Oh, I'll have to get my shifts changed at the hospital if we want to do the shows together. Well, we'll try and get the same shifts. My head's all over the place. You'll always have me and George. And me and Tom. That goes for all of us. I don't know what I'll do. Well, we're your second family. We're sisters. Eh? Hey. Well, my dad must have put himself a boot. <laughs> my mother must have been terrified to get in the bed. <laughs> hey, what if I was doing um, comedy sketches? Oh, we could do that Hilda Baker. She yes. kills me. We're not funny. Well, speak for yourself, Jean. I never tell jokes. Well, it doesn't mean to say you're not funny. <laughs> you make me laugh. You're funny. <laughs> In a nice way. Thank you, Betty. Bobby Thompson's funny. Oh. Oh. I'll give you that. It's a pity there weren't more women. Comedians in the clubs. Aye. They'd have to wear steel knickers. <laughs> they have a hard job walking. Aye. It would be difficult. <laughs> Do you think? Oh. Yeah, very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm an old cow hand from the Rio Grande. Oh, that is definitely not in the act. <laughs> no. I fancy Bobby Thompson. Oh, oh, I couldn't yeah. fancy him. He's a foot shorter than you. He's got shoulders like a sauce bottle. <laughs> Well, he might have a nice personality. Mm. Not Bobby Thompson. Mm. Mm. My mother said there's always good stuff in little bundles. Mm. Why, everyone to their own. No, man, I don't fancy him. He'd come up to me knees. <laughs> you shouldn't disregard someone because of their size. Mm. Now, Jesus said... No, I mean, I don't fancy him. I fancy doing him. <laughs> there is no need to shout. Sylvia, will you stop her before I scream? She means she could do Bobby Thompson in our show. Yes, thank you. Oh. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 she's off. Oh. <laughs> me wife says, Bobby, will you fix the string on me carrier bag? I says, well, I'm not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We'll make you a costume. <laughs> well, it won't fit, Hilda. Right, that's enough for Bobby Thompson. We'll think of a name for her act. When I sang professionally, I saw a lot of variety acts, but there were always men. Well, why? Oh, well, I don't really know. Well, the women were stuck at home. Mm -hmm. Well, that won't be us. Well, we could do a mix of things. Hey, what about, like, the dolly birds? Oh, I don't think so. The clubs might think we're strippers. Oh, mm. I. Why? They just would. Uh, well, I'd never, ever strip. Oh, don't worry, girls. <laughs> that won't happen. No, nobody's asking anybody to take off their clothes. <laughs> I couldn't ever, ever strip. I mean, I couldn't look the Sunday school children in the face if I stripped. Mm -mm. The men wouldn't be interested in our faces. <laughs> You're not going to ask me to strip, are you? No. 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 I've got a name for the group. <gasps> I can read your mind, our mark. How? You've just written it down, man. Oh, the Dolly Mixtures? Yeah. Oh. What is it? Oh. Yeah. The, the Dolly, Dolly Mixtures! Settle down. You at the back. I'm watching ye. All right. Now look, uh, I've just had a word with a committee man and he's asked us to pass on a very important message. Now since the incident with the crab stick man, there's been a run on the toilet paper. So if you could all just get easy when you're using the facilities, that would be very much appreciated. Or alternatively, you know, I just lay off the crabs. All right, so uh, tonight we've got something a bit different for you. It's a group of lasses. Uh, now, I know what you're all thinking, but they're not strippers. <laughs> the strippers are on Sunday dinner time. Hi. <laughs> now, look, um, they mightn't be very good. But they're doing it for charity, so you know, very nice. Put your pennies in the bucket and uh, we didn't boo, all right? Well, here we go then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will have the uh, pick and mix yes. Yes. the jolly mix <laughs>
from the Dolly Mixtures. Oh, I've heard of the Dolly Mixtures. Oh, that's good. You're looking for work? I can get you plenty. I booked Slade a couple of years ago just before their first big hit in 71. Got a sign for it, Renaudy Holder. Right, well, what about us? Big clubs, good money. Sounds great. How many nights you looking for? Well, we all work full time. Well, you men will have jobs. Wait, well, what's that got to do with anything? You'll be working for a pin money. No. To pay for your holidays and buttons. No. Close to the bends? No. I'll take 20% of your fee? No. Is that the only word you can say? Well, I could say a lot more. Look, I'm offering you plenty of work and all I'll take is 20%. I want you to take note. Do you think I'm mad? Well, all the money goes to charity. Look, I've got overheads. 20% is my best offer. No. I'm one of the biggest agents in the North East Clubland. Every single penny goes to fighting cancer. Well, that's all good and well, Pep, but I have to earn a living. <laughs> Don't pet me. Time is money. Well, our time raises money for cancer research. Look, get off your high horse with your holy than now voice of cuts in the ice with me, it's 20% on out. Then it'll be nout. We'll find our own work. Ah, that's what they all say, you'll come crawling back. Mm. I won't. <laughs> Hello, pet. Is there out you want? Um, no, I don't think so, thank you. <laughs> I always look after the acts, especially the lasses that sing in the club, you know. They're always appreciated. Oh, that's very good of you. Got the keys to the committee room. Well, that must be handy. <laughs> Could have five minutes to ourselves. I'm married. What's that got to do with anything? Um. Oh! Oh! Mark, if you put any more lipstick on, you'll fall flat on your face and get stuck to the floor. Oh, I would bet it's the same with her hair. Where is Benny? Late, she's always late. Oh, hey, sorry we're late. It's always you, <laughs> Sorry, girls. Girls. Get in, get oh. in. Hey, Ow! Oh, no. oh, Doris, oh. I'd rather wear no knickers than no lipstick. You're just jealous? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joan thinks she's that Cathy McGowan off the telly. Eh, hey, I have never been jealous of you. <laughs> Don't tell lies, our Doris. When that lad whistled after me on Dean Road, you were raging. He had a white stick. <gasps> That's a terrible thing to see. Who's his own feet? Oh, shut up, man. I've had a long day. Oh. Oh. My boyfriends have always loved my lips. Hi. They used to call you Mick Jagger. Oh, you're just jealous. I'm not. Have I got enough lipstick on? Uh, wait a minute. I'll get a shovel. <laughs> oh, I still love you, our oh, mum. Oh. <laughs> have you been drinking? You never have a drink before a show. Stop bossing us, our mark. I've only had two cups. <laughs> and the rest. And will you stop saying our mark? No. I really love you, oh, our no, mark. No, stop it. Get off it. <laughs> What's that? Get off, Doris. Get off. What's in here? Rum? There's rum in there? <laughs> I could have told you that. <laughs> oh, I know our mark. It's terrible. Will you stop saying mark? It's your name. <sighs> I am really annoyed. Oh, me skin and blisters bossing me. Oh, I bet he does it to me all the time. Hey, you're the same with me. Don't make a lie of yourself, our Betty. Sisters, oh. get on that stage.
I'm a busy man running this club. It's practically a full-time job. My wife says she never sees us. That's one advantage of being club secretary. What's your name? The Dolly Mix Jazz. Oh, aye. Good name for strippers. We gone through the agency Big Boobs. They're the biggest. Do you know them? No. Aye, well. We have strippers at least once a week. Sunday dinner time, sometimes on a Monday afternoon. It's a license to print money. Me and my wife never lets us watch. Do you know, I've never seen her naked. We're not strippers. Oh, you're more artistic, are you? Call yourselves clothes removers, something like that. Well, you'll be one of the strippers. You've got a canny body. No. I'm not asking you to get your kit off here. Mind I have had a few that have. You don't strip. We do it for charity. Oh, you don't charge for stripping. No, we do comedy sketches and sing. Had a girl do it with a snake once. Got out in the concert room, there was hell on. Never been fun to this day. Look, we'll do a night at your club. We'll collect for cancer research. We'll even help sell the tickets. <sighs> Not strippers. They're gone down well here. Pity that. Hey, what about a Wednesday night? It's generally dead. Say your prayers and brush your teeth. I know you did them this morning. Don't try and be funny. I wonder where they get it from. I'll not be too late. Grandma's downstairs. No more drinks. Tom, there's Vesta curry in the fridge. Yes, that is your treat. I'll leave the stair headlight on. Dad will read you another story. I love you. Just one more joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? I'll check on you later. Another action man. Well, we'll go tomorrow. It's Saturday. And to the park. I promise. George, answer that door. The milkman's money's on the kitchen table. Yes, I've got your bingo money. Cheerio now. Oh, hey, it's like a competition for how many you can get in a dressing room. <laughs> like a priest's hole. Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a wife or a mother. A picker upper or a dropper offer at school. A shopper looking for the best joint to meet. We can say what we like, it doesn't matter. Aye. He said to me tonight. With a face like a wet blanket. What's for me supper? I take him by the hand and I show him the sandwiches. Uh, is there any mustard? Is there anything else? Is if they'd starve if he left the house. Ken's not eating a lot. But he's not got much of an appetite. Is he getting plenty of visitors? Well, some days he can't be bothered seeing anybody. I would tell him all about the clubs, though. <laughs> he was laughing his head off the other day about some of the stuff we get up to. <laughs> ah, he's proud as punch of the dolly mixtures. Oh. He would love to see us. I'm sure we can squeeze him in this corner. <laughs> <laughs> My nana used to go to the snog at the pub at the bottom of the street. Her and her friends would push themselves into this tiny space. She took me there once when I was a bairn. All they would do was drink bottles of stout and laugh. Oh, I can understand that. Oh. This is our snug. Well, yeah. I feel really good here. No. When I sang professionally, we had separate dressing rooms. And golden toilets. <laughs> now I sell toilet fittings, ball cocks. In the shop, I think I was going around the clubs. Well, I'm not just a working woman or a wife. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love being a mother and a wife. But on top of all of that, I'm a singer that's helping save people's lives. Oh, that's really important to me. When I'm selling shovels and brushes in Frank Lakes, it keeps me going. Oh. Hey, you're supposed to be on that stage. <laughs> I sing every song for him. You caught them. The consultant said they'll not let him be in any pain. Well, that's good. Look, this is our promise, brother. The Dolly Mixtures will keep on fighting. 
He always wants to know how we went down. I'll tell him about the fight in the club. He'll laugh all those tables and chairs everywhere. God, it was rough. I was barbed wire around the one-armed bandit. <laughs> they could have knocked out Muhammad Ali. This woman, she came up to us. She poured all of our money from our purse into me hands. She lost our mother to cancer. She broke down. And clung to me. I promise. We promise to fight all the way. God, I wish it wasn't us. I was discharged from hospital and I died at home. I was 34 years old. Tonight's the first night I've seen the Dolly Mixtures. I always wished I could. Yes, it was a great night. <laughs> I could have murdered that stag do. Yeah, no, they kept shouting, get them off. <laughs> hey, we had a full house. Uh, what did they want us to get off? <laughs> They'd been drinking all day, Jean. What do you think? I'm just going to put these on the bus. One man said I sang beautifully. Hmm, he was that drunk he couldn't stand. Oh, well, that's not a very nice thing to say. It's been a hard night, Sylvia. We're all in this together. That's how we all went down, that counts. Oh, yeah, I I'm sorry for being insensitive. Well, I am proud of every single one of you. I wish I could say the same for the audience, like. Now, how are we on that bus? And I'm proud of you too, Hilda. No. Now, what did they mean when they were shouting, get them off? Uh, oh. I'll tell you on the bus. Oh. Eh, uh, the bus is our heating. Oh. Heating? What's it doing in Newcastle? You want to get it out of here? <laughs> no, the radiator's knackered once water. <laughs> I'm sorry. Radiator has knackered once water. The radiator is broken and in need of water. <laughs> There's no water around here. Nah, just cheap. <laughs> nah, <Nebad>. bad. No. <laughs> right, I'll let you sit on the bus till we get it started. But no food. The men could pee in the radiator. <sighs> They'll never reach. It's too high. Me that can stand on a box. Well, my George won't need a box. <laughs> Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, the driver's got the wind up. No, I haven't. Oh, the driver's got the wind up. Oh, the driver's got the wind up. But he can't put the wind up, me. The Dolly Mixtures are playing in clubs all over the Northeast, and every penny raised goes to cancer research. Mind, there's easier ways of raising funds. There's some clubs you wouldn't throw your cap in. It was rough tonight. It was like a war zone. My heart goes out to them, but they got them in the end. I did the clubs. I started singing when I was diagnosed with cancer. It was something I always wanted to do, so I did it. Mind, it wasn't easy. There'd be lads sitting right in front of the stage, and when I started singing, they'd read their papers. Oh, you'd turn the volume up on your amp, they'd put their hands over their ears and they'd shout, pay them off. If I told a joke, they'd shout out the punchline. It's a rough way to earn a few bob. You need skin like a rhinoceros. The Dolly Mixtures will need each other if they're going to survive. Well, 
I never thought I'd be stuck in Hilda's <coughs> making costumes on Christmas Eve. It's a good job the turkey knows how to get itself in the oven. Oh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. All of them. I know it's Christmas, but I have to stop having evil thoughts about people that can do that kind of thing. Well, it's never stopped you in the past. <laughs> I try not to say awful things. Ah, oh, she's joking, Jean. Everyone. Maybe there were footballers on the way to a fancy dress party. Yeah, there's 11 in a football team. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. My car was parked by the front door so I could keep an eye on it and they must have jemmied the boot. Aye, but why pinch eight chicken costumes? <laughs> they were in a suitcase. Oh, come on, girls, let's get stuck in. Aye, the material wasn't that expensive. Nope, it was cheap, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the receipt. I've told me man to keep an eye on the turkey. He said he would put his glasses on. Oh. My man's wrapping the presents. Ah, well, he does it better than me. Ian, look back and say, this is the Christmas Eve he made the chicken costumes. <laughs> I'll remember, cos we bought a bike and it needs putting together. We'll hear his screams from here. <laughs> well, it's going to be a long night. But my Tom's bought us something. Aww. I love all of you. We should say what we feel, how much we love each other. It's not easy where you never is. Jean's right. I love all of you. This look and blush should be so meek and seem afraid to even speak. Nothing ends before it's begun. Empty words dying in the sun. There's a
you've got a pain in your tummy. It'll soon go away, sweetheart. Here, get off the phone. Nobody's shouting at me. <laughs> I will in a minute. Your dad is with you. Look, I've got to talk to me wife. She'll think I'm having an affair if I don't give her a call. I'll give you a cuddle. That's what my wife thinks I'll be doing. She must have good reason. Uh, I didn't ask for your opinion. I'll see you later. Better not let me wife hear you say that. I know your wife. So? So I'll speak to her. <gasps> Why? Well, I'll tell her about that last that you were getting off with in the club. No, I wasn't. And who will she believe? Cheerio now! Ah, shut up, Jean. All right. I loved standing here in our sitting room watching the bands playing in the street. It's the little things you miss. Margaret always sits there. This is my chair. I always bought her the same perfume every Christmas. I had a note to remind me of its name and I kept it in my wallet year after year. Margaret usually grabs the phone as soon as it rings. She mustn't want to answer.
why we're here. Our Hilda and Doris have been really great. They've kept an eye on Margaret. He would be so pleased with the dolly mixtures. I'm over the moon. Well, he'd have every right to be. I keep his photo in me purse. Mine's in me heart. I could cry. You know, sometimes I think I can hear his voice. Oh, aye. Clear as a bell. I wish you could. Well, he's our guardian angel. Watching over us. Night and day. Right, I will come on. Come on, doll. This thing on, Trev. <laughs> nah. All right, here we go. First prize in the Leak Club show is a diving suit. Sorry, Devan Sweet. <laughs> you can see all the leeks in the lounge, including his, which are like spring onions. After the bingo, tonight's act is the uh, news pickers. The dolly mixtures, man. One more word from you and you'll be barred again. As I was saying, he said... Are you out again? Hey, I gave him a look, like a summons. Oh, I bet he goes quiet after one of your looks. Well, I do love him, and I know that he loves to come with where Tina tells us all of these daft jokes and that, but we can't live in each other's pockets. Mm. Well, my George knows not to say a thing when I'm getting ready. He puts his bingo money in a neat pile beside me costume. Ooh, you got <laughs> well trained. Aye, way. He's got the pick of the telly when I'm out. <laughs> my husband gives the children the supper, then reads them a story. He loves doing that, so do I. Oh, our men aren't a bad bunch. No, the hearts are in the right places. In the middle of the chest, behind their lungs. Mine's got Ken written all the way through it. Hear them toilets. Oh, Good oh, job oh, I brought oh. me on paper, excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. Oh, I don't oh, will somebody stop her? I've already counted these 20 times. Tidiness is next to godliness. Well, so help me God, Jean, you're driving us mad. Will you stop it, man? Oh, here, yeah, Jean, tidy my bag, will you? I'm not looking for work. I swear you've got that same right as dance. Will you keep still? He's the patron saint of dance. There's not enough room in here. <laughs> Do you think I'm ugly? Where'd that come from? You know the answer. I wouldn't ask if I knew. <laughs> I've seen the way men look at you. Yeah, gorgeous Liz. Marilyn Monroe has nothing on you now. <laughs> How are count me tickets? That lad last week, his tongue was hanging out looking at you. You're just saying it to make us feel better. Uh, oh, what about that man last night? Hey. Oh, I think you're lovely. Can I tap you? Oh, can I bring me man and bands? <laughs> oh, you're bloody lovely, you. Give us a snow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're gorgeous, man. Now, how many tickets have we sold? Uh, 94, 95. Oh, it was difficult at work. I had to twist a few arms. You're a marvel, Hilda. Aye, ah, it'll be one in the eye for the club secretary. Turned round to me and he said, you won't sell a dozen. We didn't do too well the last time we were here. Well, hey! I've made a notice. <laughs> well, I will take great pleasure sticking that into his sweaty hand. Oh, <laughs> don't get yourself agitated. I don't, we know it's an uphill struggle. But people are supposed to help, not hinder. If it wasn't for Ken, we wouldn't be here. You'd all be at home with your man and your bens. I know what you're all giving off. Well, my family understand what we're trying to do. I could have battered that club secretary. 
He said to me, if you are rubbish, I will see you paid off at half time. <laughs> After the first number, we'll have them eaten out of our hands. Aye, they'll be creeping around us by the end of the night. Oh, no. I shouldn't <laughs> let them get to us. Hurry up, you need to be quick. The man on the door asked if I wanted a quickie. Cheeky sort. I always ignore them. What did you say, Jean? Well, I said I like to take my time. <sighs> You are joking. And then he said, well, you're a girl after my own heart. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. She never kids. <laughs> We're going to have to look after you. You're taking on guard. <laughs> he wanted the quickie, for God's sake. Oh, you know, Jean. Leg over. <laughs> ah! Some men. <laughs> hey, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Man on the door, on you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've had a look round this club tonight. Mind there's some debt. If you took away all your catalogue clothes, you'd all be naked. I can't sleep for debt. I'm up to here with it. I wish I was a bit taller. Mind those debt collectors, they don't stop at nothing. In the winter, one of them came to me door on a sledge. One of them came round last Thursday. I says, here, here, come in, come in, take a seat. He says, I'm here to take the lot. They knock and knock and knock because they know that you're in. Well, I says, let them knock. The paint will last longer than the skin. Some people call it debt. I call it credit. I'm in debt on account that I can't pay me credit. But you know, as a comedian, as a comedian, you get invited everywhere. The Crown Court, the County Court. Mind. Oh, mother. Hey, your mother is a wicked, wicked woman. My wife says to me, Bobby, Bobby, will you speak to me mother? I says, aye, through a medium. <laughs> my mother-in-law says, I would love, I would love to dance on your grave. I says, I hope I'm buried at sea. How? Knock it off. Right, I've got a gun. Uh, but I'll be back after your bingo. The club chairman's had a knock on his head and he's promised to buy me a paint. When you lose someone, well, when they die in their 70s or 80s, it's really sad. But when you lose your man at 34, it's a tragedy. Everybody whispers the big C behind their hands. Cancer is a killer. Don't I know it? A young lad from work came to visit me in hospital. I could see in his eyes that I was dying. He kept talking 20 to the dozen about the lads in the factory and football, but we both knew. The life they'll never have. The family they won't see. Christenings and weddings, birthdays and Christmas. Well, all I have is memories. One lad was 28, a big strapping fella. In the end, there was no on him. He knew he was dying. You know, I just expect him to walk through that door. Okay. He said, shake me hand. And he looked me right in the eyes. The curtains were round his bed during the night. Cancer's a killer, too true, but the lasses are fighting a bugger. He'll always be with us. We'll make sure of that. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ken. <laughs> Can you hear us? Well, we said we'd move mountains. Well, we've made a start. <laughs> and we'll keep on. I couldn't be prouder. Let's have a toast. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be up there singing you now. <laughs> 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 to the only man in the dolly mixtures. To Ken. 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 to my 
my George, it's cheese and pickle and now because that's all we've got. Ladies are not allowed in the bar by order of the committee. Pfft. Well, I never knew committee had four M's. Well, committee or no committee, nobody's going to stop me going in that bar. Just what? <laughs> <coughs> you took your old pet. I don't pet me. I bet there's not one woman on that committee. Well, that'll never happen. <coughs> it's a working men's club. <laughs> Uh, it's 1975, not 1875. Are you telling me women don't work? I'm not seeing that, Pat. Well, <laughs> just as well. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Pat, hold on. <coughs> hold on, Pat. Cheers, <coughs> 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 Pat. Listen, Rach, I'll do you a favour. Come here. I'll take your bucket in the bar. Oh, hey, I'll not. get you a few more. Bob, man, hey, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, hey, come here. <sighs> me wife collects for charity. No, oh, no, nah, me in there, man. I'm always in there collecting with her bucket. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it, man. No, oh, no, nah, me in there. I'm always in there. No, oh, no, nah, me in there, man. No, oh, no, nah, me in there. <sighs> Just give us one minute, I'll just... No, Hilda won't like it. No, he says it's our reach, he does it all the time. Just his wife collects for... Sylvia, give us a bloody bucket. Ah. I'll be standing here. No funny business, mate. <coughs> this is the last call for you, bingo. Oh, yeah, my George always likes to know how much for a full house. £120, £50 a line. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Did somebody sign you into the club? It was a man. And he had a pulse. Are you playing bingo? No, I never play. Well, it's not on in the bar. Well, we're not allowed in there. There's bingo on in the lounge and concert room. Can I get away from it? We'll be stuck in the corridor again. Mm -hmm. My George has given me his bingo money. Oh, and that man's took the bucket in the bar, so... He what? Oh, he says he always does it. His wife collects for... I bet he does. Sorry. Oh, he's took me bloody bucket. Oh, 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 I hope he burns in hell. That hanging's too good for him and uh, the committee doesn't even have four M's, so this is that. Right. There's no more buckets from now on. It's checks. <sighs> checks. Bloody nice of it. He has your bingo before tonight's act. Let's have no false calls. It's fifty pounds a line. Eyes down for a full house. Here we go. Harold Wilson, number ten. Tow little ducks, number twenty-two. Quack quack. Top of the house, line 90. Lucky seven. Ooh, keys of the door, number 21. And unlucky for some, number 13. There you go. Clever lass, are we? House in the lounge. Somebody check that card. Right. Didn't forget to buy your meat draw tickets. The prize is a leg of mints. Tonight's act is the uh, Batty Sisters. The Dolly the Mixers! Dolly Mixers. Oh, not that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the uh, Jolly Hipsters. Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. Come on, Come on girls, get them off, off, off. Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. Betty, what you doing? Come on, girls, get them off, off, off. 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 It's been a great night, but every ticket has been sold. 
for me If it's where it touches Everybody can see Do you like me new lipstick? It's called a night on the town You wear it so much It makes you look like a clown Are you drunk? Oh, yes. Come outside and I'll show you the time of your life Don't you think it's time you went home? Concentrate. We're losing the fight, yeah, and it's only half past eight. The natives are restless, they will have us out the door. Like Christians and lions, there'll be plenty blood and grow. I think I might try my best to sing the perfect high. Come Jean. on, Jean, you can do it if you sing with me. Keep on, keep on, keep on Keep on, keep on, keep on, Years pass by and with hundreds of great nights in the clubs and ones they just want to forget, the Dolly Mixtures are still together, raising money to beat cancer. The unbreakable bond helping them to heal their loss. Yourself in wonder where to begin. 
someone so young How do you start again? You need friends at hand who can understand And if you start to cry, they'll wipe the tears from your eyes Will you ever be the strike it's eating up the community like cancer time flies you'd have heard that before it's been about 10 years and the dolly mixtures are still fighting just like the lads and lasses in this club it's been a rough year this club this village these people are looking battered what they need is a bloody good laugh and i know just the girls to do it right the club subs are due but they'll be left over till the end of the strike. And just a reminder, there'll be a women's meeting 10 a.m. tomorrow morning in the welfare hall. The strike's killing them. It's enough to break anyone's spirit. Don't say what Christ would do. I wasn't going to. Sitting with dregs of beer in their pints. My heart goes out to them. It'll be hard to get them laughing tonight. That's our job. <laughs> I could cry. Let's give them the best show ever. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Aye, come on. Right. We've got a great bunch of lasses in the night. They've been going round the clubs of the North East for over a dozen years, raising money for cancer research, and they take nought for themselves. I keep fighting, lads and lasses. Eh, uh, aye. Uh, we've had them here a few times, and it's always a pleasure to have the Dolly Mixtures. And these big-hearted lasses are donating every penny raised tonight to the Miners' Strike Fund. I think a round of applause is in order. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, at no expense, the wonderful Hilda Baker and lovely Cynthia. And on behalf of the Dolly Mixtures, well, we'd just like to say that we'll hope you win your fight and that the village goes from strength to strength. Uh, thank you, Betty. Uh, Hilda Baker and Cynthia. And where are you dashing off to? Hmm? Where have you been? Eh? I've been stood here waiting for you. I've been here a long time. I had nine pennies when I got here and I've only got one left. I made two phone calls, one to the police station and the other to the hospital. And you weren't there. Where were you? Eh? Hey, eh, I bet you were sat somewhere supping. Alka Frolic Liquor. Oh, she likes a milk stout. <laughs> and what did I tell you this morning? I told you to be soon, didn't I? Be soon, I said. Be soon. No, oh, she's not healthy. She's not all she should be. She's not been the same since she fell off old Alfred's tantrum and hit her head. 
Well, there were three of them on it, and there should only ever be two on a tantrum. Well, so we took her to the doctors. We took you to the doctors, didn't we? And he said, I know what this girl needs. She needs to see a psychiatrist. So we took her to the psychiatrist, and he said, I'm going to need to delve into your past. So he started to delve. Well, that's at least what he said he was doing. And he said, are you married? He asked you if you were married, didn't he? And I said, no. That's when I put it in. I said, no. She hasn't been married, but she hasn't been neglected. No. The fellow he used to go out with, he was a sailor, wasn't he? He was a sailor. He asked you to marry him, didn't he? Well, I say a sailor. He used to walk an horse down the canal bank. <laughs> so wherever there's a canal, that's where he has to be, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, Cynthia, why don't you tell them that joke you told me last week about this spinster who ain't got an husband? All right, then I'll tell it. <laughs> right, it was a spinster, right? Didn't have an husband. And the neighbour said to her, oh, do you ever get lonely? And she said, no, I don't get lonely. I've got 1,000 goldfish to keep me company. She said, you've got 1,000 goldfish to keep you company. Well, where do you keep them? She says, I keep them in the bath. She says, you keep them in the bath? Well, what happens if you want to take a bath? She says, well, that's easy. I blindfold them. <laughs> I thank you. Well, I've got to go now. So come on, Cynthia, come on. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's friend I'm only plucking pheasants as I mean to turn my right and she's not a pheasant plucker, she's a pheasant plucker's friend She's only plucking pheasants as I mean to turn my right and My husband's in the forest always banging with his gun If he could hear me half the time I'm sure that he would run For there's fluff all in her crannies and there's feathers up her nose And I'm itching in the kitchen for my head down to my toes I'm not a pheasant plucker I'm a pheasant plucker No! <laughs>
The miners was just one of the many good causes to benefit from the Dolly Mixture's talent and time. The Heart Foundation, kidney research, and many, many more. Truth be told, they found it hard to say no to just one more show. Don't ignore me, our Betty. I'm not. I can read your every move. Oh, so you're a mind reader now, are you? Admit you get sick sometimes. We all must do. The Dolly Mixers has taken over our lives. How much longer? I mean, we've done wonders. I'm proud of what we've achieved, but sometimes I just want my life back. There's no harm in seeing that. Look, I know. I know. Is that all I'm going to get? It's not good enough. Where's the sisterly solidarity? You know, sometimes you've just got to say, Look, not tonight, Joan. But if I can't talk to you, who can I talk to? Hey! Where are you going, pet? You need to get a man to sign you in the club. And don't forget, you can't play bingo unless you get a club member to sign you in. It's more than me job's worth. Well, I'm very sorry, Mr. Dorman. Uh, Where tonight's entertainment? No, the poster says male vocalist. That was last week. Uh, never mind, pet. You still need to get a man to sign you in. Hey! It's more than your job's worth to let us in. Aye, too right, pet. Ooh. Right, that was one pet too many. Let's get ourselves home. Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> it's an old ticket due tonight. The Dolly Mixtures have sold out. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. <laughs> this is lovely. Here, huh? get some bloke to sign in the Dolly Mixtures. What? We're going to knock you dead. Where's the one with the big boobs? I like to. Hey, don't let her come back. Oh, yeah. They were packing them in by now, no more begging for dates. Clubs were lining up to get them booked in for those precious Saturday night slots. Good for beer sales and bingo money. The girls had become celebrities. People even asked for their autographs in the supermarkets. Clubs would ask for their favourite routines to be included and firms like Shane's and Harker's, they'd help support the cause. They were out for up to four nights a week. It was like a second job. But when they were on that stage in front of their audiences, they were superstars.
I know every ward in this hospital. I used to walk the corridors when I had the strength. There was bugger all else to do. Just one look at the visitors and I know which way they're going. The ones with tears in their eyes, they're going straight to the side wards. But still things are improving. The hospital invites the Dolly Mixtures in and they talk about their latest research and how their fundraising's really helping. It's been over a dozen years since I was in here and things are getting better. I had bowel cancer like some of these lads and most of them would have died if they'd been in here with me. They know that, but they don't really know that. I bet they still wake at three in the morning sweating with fear. The Dolly Mixtures have practically adopted one lad and I can see why. He's a double me. It's good looking. He's got that gaunt look. You know the one. Cancer is all he thinks about. He tries to hide it with a laugh and a joke, but it's always there. I was never one for praying. I don't even think I knew a proper prayer. I hope my silence was enough. Could I ask you all just to be quiet for a moment, please? Yes, I know that the bingo is on in a minute, but my friend, Hilda Joyce, would just like to say a few words. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jean. As most of you know, we're the Dolly Mixtures. We've been going around northeast clubs for the past 12 years, raising money for cancer research. Now, we all have full-time jobs and families, but I'm not looking for your sympathy. I just want you to understand why we come out on nights like tonight when we could be putting our feet up in front of the telly. We've all lost family to cancer. It's a killer, but we're trying to fight it. See, every single penny that we raise goes directly to cancer research. And if anybody wants to see the receipts, I've got them with us. But what's important is why we're here. The adopted lad, Bobby's my age. He's married with a family. His wife tries her best, but you can see that every day is a struggle. The daughter talks 10 to the dozen. She fills the silence. It's just as well. See, when we started in 1973, only one in four people with prostate cancer would survive. But with the money that we have helped to raise, they've developed new drugs that have improved cancer survival rates. It doesn't look good. I see myself in them. I'm bound to, I suppose, I don't want them to end up like me. Scientists have discovered cancer genes and they've developed drugs to directly fight that disease. They're working days and nights. You can't help but bloody love them. The Dolly Mixtures are making a difference. Don't be afraid to speak. Cancer has no mystique.
The money kept pouring in and every now and then the chair of the local cancer research would call and tell them that another milestone had been reached. What began as a trickle became a flood. Clubs paid by cheque to cancer research and every donation was acknowledged with a letter. Jean kept a tight rein on the money spent on props and costumes. The girls paid for everything. Every penny was accounted for. It's like this every single time. I've got expenses, Jean. You saw me hand over that money. That's my money. Now I want it back. As treasurer, I have to account for every penny. It's like getting blood out of a stone when I've got expenses. It's what we do with the money that counts. Was this lass at work. She said the dolly mixtures must be doing all right. <laughs> that was nice of her. I knew what you meant. I thought you might. On me break, I went to my locker, got me dolly mixtures book out with all me receipts in it. Well, I hope there was no bother. I know what you can be like. I got every single lass in my line to stand round. I went silent, you could hear a pin drop. I went through every single receipt with her, and she wanted me to stop. <laughs> I bet. And then she started to cry. And she's as hard as a goat's foot. And a proper bully. When I finished, there was a £10 note on my bench. With sorry on a scrap of paper. I've got the receipt. It's an uphill struggle. Well, as the Bible says... You're getting out for now. <laughs> we are up for the fight. And a good laugh. Look, you are all my family and we always stick together. I couldn't do this without all of you. Right, go on. Go on, get yourselves home. Your families will be waiting for you. Cheerio. Cheerio now. I'm just going to finish the sleeve on this costume. Well, what would we do without you? You would have no one to shout at. Well, what are friends for? It's hurtful. Yeah, I know it is. You don't say. Well, I don't mean it. You could say sorry. Well, I'm not one for saying sorry. You could at least try. You're my best friend and you always will be. Say sorry. Jean, well, you know that we'd be lost without you. If there's anything that we need, you always have it. I mean, sometimes you drive us mad, but I never mean to hurt you. I could be freezing cold or warm as toast, crying over bad news in the post. And we might see life in different Believe in Christ and always pray. Days and nights when I get things wrong, you quietly tell me to change my song. I don't know sometimes what people mean when they tell a joke and start to scream. But a friend in need is a friend in you're the one friend I can believe That would always walk that extra mile Turn around and make me smile Because you are my 
if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> I'll pray for you. Pray? Has anyone ever told you your eyes are too close together? <laughs> All right, enough of that. Get yourselves in. And if there's any trouble, I'll have you out. I'll be watching you. Where the drinks in that bar, alcoholic? No, no, it's no alcohol in the triple Bacardi. <laughs> I'm floating. The ice that does it. Where's Liz with them drinks? I know a righteous woman who always aims to please. When the vicar comes around, she ends up on her knees. She always turns the lights out so no one else can see. The kind of absolution he administers for free. <laughs>
Ah, you be sensible, all the out. Ah, oh, it's all right. My Tom knows all these lots. <laughs> Tell us why we're here. Oh. Oh. It's a special night. Ooh. I love it. I love all of you. Oh. Alcohol makes you deaf. <laughs> oh, I haven't been out in a club for ages. Oh. I haven't been out in the dark for years. <laughs> Tonight, we're celebrating. Ooh. I've had this letter from the chairman of Cancer Research. I am proud to inform you that the Dolly Mixtures have raised more money for cancer research than anyone in the North East. <gasps> oh, how much, Hilda? One hundred thousand pounds. <gasps> I'm still counting! <laughs> She's decorated the living room. She always made a better job than me. My memories are going. I never knew what to say. Too many men don't say. I always wanted to say, I love you. But something always got in the way. I can't concentrate. She's always like this when I'm here. I've got a new life. The years have slipped away. I can't smell a perfume anymore. I'm not going to live in yesterday. I have to say goodbye. I just can't go on. Living in the past where somehow I must let you go I can't stay around Let you get on with your life Now you're on solid ground Don't you waste your days Let it slip away Now is the time we have to say goodbye I drove into this car park and I didn't drive out. It's the first time I've seen Bobby, the lad the Dolly Mixtures have adopted, outside a hospital. Doesn't look good. It's like how I ended up, all skin and bone. He must have asked to go home to die. It's breaking me heart. It's bringing it all back. Part of you doesn't want to believe it's happening. 
sweat rolling down your back, aching with fear. I see that in his eyes. His wife rings Hilda at least once a week. <clears throat> yes? Oh. Ah, oh, yes, we are on this Saturday. Well, it'd be lovely to see you if you can get a babysitter. Aye. Aye, we're all praying for you. Yes, Jean, more than anyone else. I'll see you. I'm sending all my love to you and your man. No, no, sit. Right. You'll all be wondering why I've got you here. Well, he said we had to go. I was praying there was nothing the matter. Is there? I take no persuading to be here. Well, I had to change my shift. I had to get the bed looked after. Is that sherry? Aye. My Tom's bought us it. He said it's going to be a special night for the dolly mixtures. This is where it all began. And if it wasn't for our Ken, we wouldn't all be standing here. Fifteen years ago. I know what's coming. I don't want you to say it. As Christ said at the Last Supper... Who's paying this bill? <laughs> <laughs> they were a family. We are a family. Look, I didn't want the final show to be in some... club for anyone just to share. Why now, Hilda? I think we've had a good run. And we've done more than we ever, ever thought we could. And the clubs aren't doing so well. I'll miss all of you. We were not dead. <laughs> we've got memories. By the bucket full. I am so proud of the Dolly mixtures. I don't want to say goodbye. This sad adieu. Take a look, I'm crying too All good things must have an end Good memories will warm our hearts We'll be everlasting friends Though we may be far apart This is the final show Tell the whole world. 
It was Bobby on the phone. He's had the all clear. And when he found out, his smile broke the world record for smiles. He had to drive the car home. His wife couldn't because she was crying. The daughter kept saying, there's no need to cry, ma'am. Dad's coming home. There's no need to cry. I hope he gets to walk his daughter down the aisle. It's all thanks to the Dolly Mixtures. It's Bobby on the phone. Uh, he's been on these experimental drugs for months at the hospital. And his cancer's receding. I mean, it's really, you know, like early days, but the signs are good. And the prayers are working. And all the money that we've raised. <laughs> cancer's a killer, but we got off our backsides and we did something about it. I am proud of every single one of you. And we're families and husbands, because we couldn't have done it without them. Because that's what love is, you know. It makes you stronger so you can keep on fighting. Now let's sing our hearts out. This is the final show. It's time to bid a fond farewell. 